Good evening and happy Sabbath, church. My part is to give you a testimony of God's goodness in my life. In my early years, when I was 14 years old, I longed to participate in the Great Commission that God gave to His disciples a long time ago in Matthew 28, verses 19 to 20. So since then, in my very young mind, I thought that if I will become a minister's wife, I will be able to really participate in the Great Commission that He has given. God granted my prayers and gave me a husband minister for 11 years later. During that time, after our marriage, I really devoted myself and I prayed to God that I really want to support my husband in whatever ministry he will be doing for the glory of the Lord. And then, after six months of being married, I was called to work here at AUP as a clinical instructor in the College of Nursing. So there, I helped, I tried my very best to help train nursing students so that they would also become, uh, they will be able to minister also in their own ways when they graduate, when they become nurses. But I was still praying for a more concrete or for concrete ways to really minister and to get more involved in the ministry. And unexpectedly, God called me in the work, in the dormitory work. I worked as an assistant home dean during that time in Sampaguita. And now I'm in Cadena de Amor working as a home dean. For three years, I've been experimenting a lot of ways, different ways for different situations that I may be able to influence, to be able, I will be able to introduce Jesus to win people for Jesus. For that three years, unlike in the academy, we have textbooks, we have, um, yeah, we have textbooks, we have reference books on how to teach, how to do things. But in the deanship, we are experimenting a lot. I still, I could still recall when I first stepped in the dormitory, I don't know what to do because it's really the work, the nature of the work is far from, it, it's my personality really doesn't fit to the nature of the work in the dormitory. I hate confrontations. I'm so scared of confrontations. Every time a parent comes to me having complaints and everything, I'm always... Sometimes I'm trembling. I just don't know if the parent noticed it or the parents noticed it. And when I encounter a lot of difficult problems, but God strengthened me and I was able to exist in the dormitory up to this time. For those three years, I've been, as I've said, I've been experimenting a lot of, um, for those, um, Problems like um, absences in the worship, we counsel students, whatever problems they may have. If they do not attend church services, we talk to them. But as I observe, the more that we remind, counsel, rebuke students, the more that they get so annoyed of us. <laughs> 